Hello everyone, my name is Anna Yancy and welcome to my first video. To start off, I went ahead and asked my Instagram followers what they would like to know about me. So the first question is, what is your full name, age, and where you are from? So my full name is Ana Yancy Campos. My age, I'm 17 years old and I am from El Paso, Texas. So before I go ahead and answer all the other questions, I would like to talk about why I want to start my YouTube channel. So I decided to just start a YouTube channel because that's my passion. I've always wanted to do something like this and I love being in front of the camera and just expressing myself like this. It took me a while to really convince myself because I was on to high school and I was involved in many things that were just keeping me busy and I didn't have time for this. The fact that I'm starting college now and uh, what I'm studying has everything to do with YouTube. I'm doing a double major in broadcasting as well as business, specializing in entrepreneurship. Broadcasting is all about being in front of the camera, knowing how to express yourself well in front of others, as well as knowing like the behind the scenes of everything. And of course, like what better than YouTube? Like I'm doing everything for it and I'm, I'm creating my own videos and it's just helping me uh, with my speaking skills and everything. But on the other side, business is all about knowing how to market your own business, work with people, and knowing how to market your own channel, and work with companies, of course, once your channel grows. My two careers just fully revolved on, around YouTube. It's just everything that I need to know for it, well, mostly. I feel like it's just the perfect way to prepare me for my future. What will my channel consist of? So I'm a well-rounded person. I love all kinds of stuff, but I feel like one thing that I'm really, really going to do is a lot of DIYs. If you know me and if you have me on social media, I do a lot of DIYs. I'm an arts and crafts person. I love all of that. I want to teach others how I do certain things. And for example, like decorations, gifts, um, just many, 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 many things. Another thing is I will do challenges, pranks to my boyfriend mostly, you know but <laughs> i would also do videos on hair and hairstyles and all that stuff because i am a hairstylist i do hair for quinceanera for weddings for sit 16s i do hair and i love it another thing that i will also do is vlogs so i want to take you guys around my whole life like what i do and now that i'm starting college i feel like that's the perfect time to start it's just a whole different thing for me and i want to be able to vlog all of this and keep it in my memories because I'm that person that I just love to look back at what I did. So the next question is what kind of person are you? So to be honest, I am a very outgoing, loud, talkative person. By that I mean I talk a lot. Like if I have a conversation with you, I can go on for hours and hours and hours. I can just go up to you and start a conversation with you and I can go on forever. I just love going out and exploring new things, learning new things. Next is what are your favorite things to do? I love dancing. I love being involved. I love being out there. Again, I love doing this. I love being in front of the camera. Just being out there. I wanted this to be one of the first questions because it's really funny. It's what is your first language and what do you speak the most? To me, it's very funny because if you guys haven't noticed already. I am really bad. English sometimes. Well, my first language is Spanish. Uh, I was born in El Paso, but I was raised for the first years of my life in Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. My first language was Spanish. My whole family speaks Spanish. I can't talk to my mom in English because she wouldn't understand. That's kind of like how my life is. But even up to now that I have a couple more years of experience in talking in English, I still stutter a lot. I say things that don't make sense sometimes. I would honestly kind of say that my first language is Spanglish because I mix them all, all the time. Sometimes I forget and I kind of trip myself out and I just say, say it in Spanish and I just hope the other person understands. It just gets really hard for me. So again, just warning you guys. If you hear me say something wrong, just don't judge. It's just me and I'm used to it. Everyone around me is used to it, so I just hope you guys can get used to it too. How do you pronounce your name and how do you prefer for people to call you? How do you pronounce your name? It's something I get a lot because my name is just very rare. I've never heard of anyone that has my name. So in Spanish, my name is Ana Yancy. It's just straight to the point. In English, sometimes I don't even know how to say it. I When I actually think about what how I'm going to say it, it's comes out really wrong but my name's just Ana Yancy it's kind of still in Spanish but kind of mixed in English honestly you guys can call me whatever you want because I have so many different nicknames like 
you guys have no idea. But how do you prefer people to call you? Okay, so this all started when I was in middle school. Um, my coach was too tired of yelling my full name like out in the field. She'd be like, Yancy, Anna Yancy. And then she got tired of it and she just kind of like shortened. She was like, Yancy, Yancy. That way she could can get my attention really quick. And after that, I just love it. Every time someone asks me like, uh, well, how else can I call you? Because I can't say your name. I'm just like, you can call me Yancy. A lot of my family calls me Anna, but nah, I don't, I don't nah. Let's just keep it Yancy. That's just... I like it better. It's also like all my social media. So if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, it's Yancy, double A, double N. It's right down there. Favorite food. I love Mexican food. You can give me mostly anything and I will eat it. I love it, love it, love it. Especially caldo de papa. So for those who can relate, that's my favorite caldo ever. <laughs> so yeah. Next is what were your favorite years of your life? So I would definitely have to say it was high school because I just loved loved my high school i loved everything i did there and just by being involved in a lot of stuff like really got me out of my comfort zone that let's just say this i i went to two high schools and um the second one i moved in everyone would tell me like no don't move there blah, 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 you know but then once i moved there it was just perfect i loved it i really cried when i graduated from there because it was so sad but I went to Urban High School, I moved there, and I loved it. What type of music do you listen to? I listen to Mexican music. That's just my favorite, favorite, favorite music ever. It would be really rare if you would hear me listen to any English music because some people just ask me, oh, you know this song? And I'm just like, no. I just mostly listen to Spanish music in general. Do you like doing makeup? And what do you prefer more, hair or makeup? All right, so definitely hair. Makeup is not my forte, not my forte. I learned how to do a bit more strapping makeup because I was in dance and it's like we have to do our makeup a certain way and really, really, really extravagant. I had not even wear any thick eyelashes till dance. Yeah, that's just how I started learning how to do makeup. I do uh, hair, hair for quinceañeras like I said. Here and there I do makeup. But um, again, it's just like, I just prefer to go like more on the neutral side. I am not like a full out person, not at all. How many siblings do you have and which one's your favorite? <laughs> all right. My little sister is three and a half years old and her name's Ailani. She's very crazy, very outgoing. My older sister, she is about to turn 20. Yes, really big difference in age. I'm in the middle, middle child vibes, yes. Definitely my little sister is just my baby like I cannot live without her like she's just my everything okay. Next is any short and long-term goals By starting this I would kind of say that one of my goals. I don't know if it will be long-term short-term. I don't know We'll see about that But it's definitely to grow my channel It was really hard to actually get me into this because I was just focused in so many things but now that I put my mind into it because I will not do anything that I know I'm not going to put my full effort on it. Now that I am starting, that I am ready, that I am fully putting my mind into this besides college, this will be like my hobby now, like, yeah, college, but this is like my thing, you know? Definitely being able to adapt to college because I am moving there, I am staying in the dorms. And, oh my god, I'm not, I'm not ready, but I'm ready. Alright, so we're finally on our last question. Woo! So I wanted to end with this specific question because me starting my YouTube channel took a lot for me because I was scared, I was nervous. Now that I'm starting my YouTube channel, like all I need is just motivation, motivation, motivation. Motivating yourself and just being surrounded by people who motivate you and support you, the rest like Nimodo. It's just about having the people who really, really motivate me and support me and those are the people that I want to keep in my life. This quote just really, really has helped me in so many ways throughout the years and I just hope that it can help you guys. My favorite quote is, be you, do you, for you. Definitely is a very strong quote because it involves so many things in just one quote. Be you is don't ever change yourself for anyone. Do what makes you happy and that's it. Just do you. Like, focus on yourself. Do not care what other people tell you or what other people expect from you. Like, don't, don't do that. Do what, what is best for you. The last is for you, of course. Like, do it because you love it. Don't do it because other people tell you to. Like, don't stop yourself because other people are going to judge you. Like, they're going to judge you if you do it or if you don't. People are always going to be talking. 
All right, guys, that's it for my video. Thank you so much for being a part of it and staying till the very end. I decided I'll be posting weekly, and the day that I chose is every Sunday. You'll be seeing a video of mine. So the day that you guys will be seeing this is August 1st, and it will be my birthday, the big 18. So that's the day that I decided to finally post my video, and it's currently a Thursday. I will be posting again on Sunday. So expect that, and thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment any ideas you would like for me to do, and turn on your post notifications to be noticed when I post a video again thank you so much for watching and remember to just be you do you and for you thank you guys bye you show me, you know what you show me that your outro I think that would be a good outro what be you do you for you that would be a good outro uh -huh. I really liked it thanks all right <laughs> So we'll be see you. I already said that. Okay, so.